Hi, my name is Shibu. Um, thought I'll talk to you about the Samsung S10 and the DeX feature that it comes with. So we will look at is the DeX feature useful for you uh, and if you should consider buying the Samsung S10 for the DeX feature. So let's get started. To connect your phone to a monitor, you first need an adapter, a USB Type-C adapter. So I bought one of these from Amazon. Uh, so basically what it does, it converts the USB Type-C um, from the phone and it's got uh, a HDMI port which you can connect to the monitor, a USB port into which you can connect a keyboard and or mouse and it's got a USB Type-C which can be used to power, uh, power the phone. Alright, so um, I've got it hooked up. Um, so I have a keyboard and mouse adapter that's connected to the USB port. I have the HDMI port that's connected to the monitor and I have a power source that's connected to the adapter. So all we have to do now is to see what happens when you plug this in to the S10. Alright, let's try connecting the DeX to the phone. There we go, it's pretty fast. Uh, the phone is now connected to the desktop. Now, as you can see, we can actually use both the screens. Uh, the phone works as its own independent screen and you can continue to work um, from the desktop as well. So Dex offers like a PC-like environment. Um, you have a start menu from which you can open programs. Uh, by the way, the programs are of two types. Um, one is Dex optimized, so um, it, it gives a better um, experience on the desktop. Uh, and the others uh, work like a regular app. Um, what happens if I open Reddit? If I open Reddit, um, it does open like a, a, uh, an app on the phone, but uh, I cannot maximize it and, and so on. Now it does have a, a setting somewhere here that will actually give you a maximize button here, uh, which I'll show you in a little bit. Let's try opening Gmail and try to open some documents and do some editing office kind of stuff and see how it works out. I've uh, sent some documents to myself. I'll try opening them. go I can scroll the document it looks fine Let's see if I can edit this hmm. read only if not change this file So it looks fine. Um, I can. I think I can do some basic editing in this um, interface, and you, I can use my keyboard and mouse. It seems quite comfortable to do. Um, it has Windows-like uh, appearance. Um, by the looks of it, it I mean it definitely looks uh, limited. So it doesn't have the full feature of Word and so on. But that's more of a Microsoft app um, issue than uh, the Dex interface, which you're discussing. Let's um, open the invoice document and then quickly also look at a PowerPoint presentation. Looks fine. I've already edited something. I can also make some calculations and the formulas work just fine. Formulas seem to work.
looks fairly usable. And a PPT. I don't know what it's called now. It's a different file extension now. It's POTX, POTX. Uh, sorry if I, okay, let's press in this. So the PowerPoint shows just fine, but it seems to, um, I cannot dismiss the title screen and the, it doesn't show up in truly full screen mode. So that might be an issue if you want to use it for, um, you know, um, official PowerPoint presentations. This, these bottom bars don't look really good. I don't know if there's a way to hide them. I'll have to find out. Let's try out some streaming apps. YouTube seems to work fine. Hmm. I don't know why these. Let's try Prime Video. It says Prime Video can run on Samsung Dex. Try running in phone mode. So I guess. Amazon Prime doesn't work on Dex. Let's try Netflix. Seems to work. Um, right, I think um, my son is watching Netflix on the other room, so this may not work out right now. But when I tried it yesterday, it did seem to work. Let's take a look at some deck settings. Now there are some experimental settings in here that will allow you to convert a normal app to a desk app. Let's try that out and see how Instagram works with that turned on. So it says force apps to resize. So let me turn that on and then Try opening Instagram again. See, he places a button up here which allows me to maximize the window. And then it asks me to restart the app, which I will. Um, but really doesn't make much of a difference. Even if I click on the button and restart the app, it just gives a bigger interface. That's it. I also wanted to show you that you don't necessarily need to have a keyboard and mouse. The uh, phone device can be used as a replacement for a mouse pointer um, or a, a keyboard. So let me show you an example of how to do that. So I took out the USB keyboard. Now the only way for me to control the DeX uh, monitor is through my phone. Um, so uh, let's see. Um, I haven't done this before, so here in the menu here, you see an option to use your phone as a touchpad. So all you have to do is click on that and you get this touchpad and we'll let you, you know, basically use your monitor as a mouse. So you can use this to kind of, I don't know, yeah, the gestures for so I can use my two fingers to um, scroll. I can close, I can double click and so on. How does the keyboard work? There is um, in the desktop uh, somewhere down here over here there is a uh, if you click on that you actually the, the keyboard pops up so uh, if I want to type something I can uh, use the trackpad and if I wanted to search something click on that and the keyboard actually pops up here on the phone. 
so you necessarily don't need to have a USB keyboard on mouse you can just get away with access to a monitor so I think um, the Samsung S10 DeX feature um, is quite useful uh, but I don't think it's a, a complete replacement for a desktop but if you are a person who travels a lot and would like to travel light um, I think it's a good solution all you need to have is uh, a dongle that I showed you before and you can you know pretty much con uh, convert any uh, TV or monitor into a fairly powerful desktop machine the only use cases where I think it would be useful for me personally is when I travel I could potentially use the device to connect to a TV and watch some movies or maybe even uh, use it for PowerPoint presentations in a meeting so that those are you know pretty much the only use cases that I can see for myself um, so I don't think it's worth it to just buy the um, S10 just for the text feature but I think it's a good add-on uh, and it's a good value um, a value add-on which I don't see any other phone makers have done done it before so I hope you enjoy this video